My guest is Monty Hipsch, CEO of Aussie Web in Queensland, Australia. Monty, welcome to the program. Hi, Wayne. Great to see you again. Yeah, it's been a little while since we've had a chance to chat. Monty, some of our viewers may not know who you are. I know you're known as the Google Guru. Tell us about Aussie Web and what you do. Well, Aussie Web is basically uh, two companies. One is a, a local business directory, which we help small businesses to get indexed uh, with Google because it's highly indexed by Google. And then we have Aussie Web Conversion, which is our premier SME partner status with Google. It's by invitation only. Uh, there are about 15 in Australia. We're the longest serving member, and we've won the uh, uh, Net Promoter Score for Best Customer Service among all of APAC for the last two years. And it's part of the reason you see this lovely Google poster behind me, the Australian poster, uh, is because I get Google goodies for being the Google guru. I haven't, uh, I haven't ever seen a physical poster from Google before, so I'm very impressed. <laughs> Monty, um, Aussie Web and Aussie Conversion then are sister companies. Did I hear you say Aussie Web was free? Aussie Web is free. It's a, it's a business directory. Uh, it gets a half a million unique visitors every month, and uh, it's just an opportunity for small businesses to have a directory which builds them a, a qualified link back to their website, helps them with their search engine optimization. And that's just aussieweb.com.au? It is indeed. And Aussie Web Conversion is then your company that does work to help clients of yours be better found on Google. Yeah. Aussie Web Conversion's sole purpose is to, is to help people get found on the front page of Google. And they can do that in one of three ways. They can do that through pay-per-click advertising, Google's AdWords program. They can do it organically through search engine optimization. And if they have a local business, they can do it through Google My Business, which is Google's uh, local product for people to trade from a physical location. And Aussie Web Conversion helps out with all of that. Absolutely. Monty, for some time, SEO has been around and uh, uh, it's about software and adding links and link farming and stuff. What's changed? Um, yep, you identified the things, the predominant things that changed. Search engine optimization a couple of years ago was dominated by black hat activities, buying links from around the net, scraping content from other people's websites and putting it on your own, uh, and, and, and these things actually worked, uh, but the challenge was it, it meant that people that did, did things correctly uh, were penalized and couldn't win. Google came out with their Panda and Penguin updates, and that basically wiped out all the black hat stuff. Now, it's fair to say that Google is not in the business of providing um, top rankings for any business. They're in the business of providing excellent search results for people who are doing searches. Absolutely, They're, they are in fact, and it's, it's true, they're, they're focused on the user experience, trying to get every, first time and every time exactly what it is that they're looking for. Now, how do they go about doing that? What's, what are they doing that's, that's different now? Ah, well, they actually, after the Panda and Penguin update, they came out with another one called Hummingbird. And that was all about the the need to create original content because they're trying to identify who the industry experts are in different segments. And that signal is a result of original content. And, and so you need to create original content. And then as important as the content creation, you need to have it distributed throughout authoritative sites on the internet that Google uses as signals to say, these are quality the quality places for that content to be shown. Now, I've heard you refer to this as the hub and spoke model. Um, if the hub is the original content that you create, what are, the, what are the spokes? What are the authoritative sites that Google recognizes? Yeah, great question, Wayne. The, the, the spokes are, are a combination of things. Uh, obviously, uh, it, like in the case of us doing this interview, a YouTube uh, video, Placing it on YouTube is a, is a signal that Google values because they own it. If you repurpose some of that content and add slides, supporting slides and activities, you could put it on SlideShare. If you translate 
the actual audio that's created into a white paper PDF that could be put on either LinkedIn or a blog on your own website. And if you take just the audio portion of, of the activities, you can put it on iTunes. And so you've got iTunes, LinkedIn, SlideShare, YouTube. I mean, all of these are, uh, you can even chop it up and, and dribble bits out in, on Twitter. All of these sites are considered authoritative by Google and they impact the signals. Now, Google guru, Monty Hipsch, we've been talking about the hub and spoke model of search engine optimization and the notion of creating genuine original content rather than the black hat process. We've talked about the hub and spoke model and distributing it. How far can this go? Like, if you put the same content in a lot of places, isn't Google just going to penalize that the same as they penalized scraping content in the past? Not when the, not when the content is, is physically repurposed. Uh, an audio on on, uh, on iTunes uh, with a video on YouTube, yes, the same source material, but Google will recognize that and give credit back to, to the authors in that case. Is is Google good at recognizing? Is Google good at recognizing the original author of content? Is it that clever? Absolutely. That's that's what made all the difference after the Panda and Penguin. So people that would rewrite somebody else's content, and even if they changed 20, 30% of it, Google, Google could still identify that it was plagiarism and not index it. Maybe they should be working for universities, or maybe they are. <laughs> so, so Monty, uh, with, with this broadcast, we'll put it on YouTube, but we'll also do some of those other hub and spoke things that you, you talked about. Um, we routinely do that. Is it possible to do SEO in a way that causes Google to penalize you? Sure. Um, and that, that comes back to uh, the silver bullet of SEO, which is whatever the new tool is that somebody's put out in the software place for $97 saying it'll do all this great stuff. And Google actually watches the signals because they've got 200 signals, 10, 10 to 20 of those are being modified every week. And, and so Google will look, and if all of a sudden it sees that 100 backlinks showed up on your site yesterday, they'll know that that was done by a machine, not a person. Now, I've seen some software that reposts a single post onto all my social media feeds. Does that get detected by Google? Um, if there are applications like Buffer that allow you to schedule and, and, put, and release data into social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. And that, that's not overly penalized because, again, it's, it's, Google will identify that it's all from the same author. It's just, being on diff, it's just being put on different distribution channels. So back in 1996 with Bill Gates when content is king, is that still the case? A absolutely. And, and, and as we've talked in the past, uh, writing your first blog post is exciting. Writing the second one is a bit of a chore. Writing the third one is painful. Um, so it, it, this, is, this penalizes small businesses because they're all wearing multiple hats and juggling everything else. And now they've got to be content creators. And not everybody is very good with the written word. And then the, the expectation of, of polishing the, the, the top and tailing of text and graphics and everything else is just gone through the roof. And so you need to hire and manage people to do that. So it's, it's an onerous task for small businesses. Fortunately, the spoken word's uh, something I'm much better at than I am the written word. Um, uh, spelling and grammar have kind of always eluded me a little bit, but I can talk the leg off an iron pot, so I'm in the right space. Absolutely. Monty, it's been a pleasure having you with me this morning. Can you give us your websites again so that we just don't get confused about them? Yes, Wayne, sure. Our free directory, Australian-wide, is AussieWeb, A-U-S-S-I-E-W-E-B dot com dot A-U, 100% free, great resource for finding small, medium enterprises and promoting your own business. Our commercial site, which is AussieWebConversion.com, is where we work with you directly to, to get you on the front page of Google and, and Bing uh, through pay-per-click advertising, Google My Business, and search engine optimization. Monty Hipsch, Google Guru, thank you for your time this morning. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Nice to see you again.